Hey guys, my name is Jade Wee, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the Emitor Versio, which is a crazy delay by noise engineering. You might notice that I have two more noise engineering effects here, the Desmodus and the Melitus. I already made a video on the Desmodus if you want to check that out. Going to be making one of the Melitus soon. But the cool thing about these modules is that you can switch the firmware. So if you just have one, you can turn it into the Desmodus, the Melitus, and there's a whole bunch of other ones. Very cool for being only 10 HP, like I really like these modules, you're going to see why. So below this case, I have my Yamaha montage, which is what's actually going to be making the sounds. This is just an effects case. I've been working on this case. This is the Arturia Rack Brute. You guys will find affiliate links below to not just modular stuff, but also to the case and to the montage, to all my other synths. So right now I have the blend set all the way to zero, which means we just hear our dry sound. <laughs> I'm going to start turning the blend, messing with some knobs. Later, we're going to send some LFOs and some clock outs from the Magneto to really get things going here. So let's just do it. Let's just play. I might make a little sequence later on in the montage. We'll see how it goes.
amazing. <laughs> when you heard that little silence, that was actually me stopping the sequence that I had made on the montage. But as you heard, like everything's still going. Like if I turn my blend up, you will hear the feedback from that loop that we made. And that's just made by like the internal delays. And then the tap button right here, this is how we set our BPM. We also have a CV for that. So let's go ahead and plug some CV. I think I'm going to reset my parameters a bit. So when I turn my feedback on, it's not so insane. Let this ride out. Gorgeous. And let's go ahead and switch our sound on our montage. Let's do um, some type of ethnic sound because y'all know I love my Asian sounds. I'm going to make a sequence, but I'm going to do it with blend all the way down so I can count my metronome and here we go.
Beautiful. I love just stopping the sequence and seeing what this thing can do on its own. Like, just like from the crazy feedback. It sounds like rain and noise and all these beautiful sounds that are just made from the Imitor itself. Okay, I'm going to keep the sequence, but I'm also going to add a second instrument. I'm going to go here to my woodwinds. Um, let's try the FM pan flute. Add. Let's add another one. I'm going to add maybe like a, let's see, let's do a cello, a Seattle cello. Maybe a romance strings instead. All right. So now if I go here to my montage. So yeah, let's do it. I'm going to probably change my tempo a little bit.
speechless. <laughs> so much fun just tweaking these knobs. Like this setup, but uh, just being able to play keys. Cause keys really is my thing. Like that's where I feel most at home. It's where I enjoy composing the most. Yes, having a URX sequencer is a lot of fun, but like this setup, I'm like completely in love with this setup. And that was just one effect, guys. That was just one effect. So, you know we're going to be making videos on all this stuff, so stay tuned guys. If you guys like what I do, consider becoming a patron, it really means a lot and helps out the channel. If you want to help the channel in any other way, become a channel member. Or if you're thinking of buying a new piece of gear, use the affiliate links below. That's it guys, stay fly and I'll catch you in the next one.